Hello everyone, let's hope I can avoid coughing and sneezing into the microphone tonight and disgusting all of you. <coughs> there we go, already started. I said it and had a Pavlonian response. Literally. <laughs> Hadn't done that for hours and hours and then like as soon as I mentioned it, the body started reacting. Should have like got, went to like the bathroom and did a big snort before I came on in front of my microphone. <coughs> but I uh, hope everyone else is well. At least weller than I am. Uh, but how is everyone tonight? How you guys doing? How am I feeling? Well, I feel fine. I'm not entirely... As you can hear, there's still some, like, croakiness in my voice. So I got a sniffle or two. Other than that, I'm on the mend. Nothing too bad. I'm not waking up with, like, my entire, like, ability to breathe down to, like, 10%. Which is not fun, by the way, when you have to like, ah, oh, looks like I'm gonna be blowing my nose for the next 30 minutes. <clears throat> Crazy 21 Kai, first time chatting here as well. Hey, Dardigan, I'm doing fine. Glad to hear that, and also welcome to the chat. Big old ups to you. We need an exorcist. I actually wish that practice would come back, just for the fun of it. Like, it, you know what? Yeah, just like have like, you know, you know, you know. Like, a legitimate exorcist you can, like, hire. Why not? I, I, in fact, I have an idea for, like, a theme park where we let you go on vampire hunts and werewolf hunts and either ha be exorcised or perform an exorcism. I think it'll be a big gothic draw. Goth- Welcome to Gotham. <laughs> gothic, I don't know, what would you call that, chat? Take away your cold or COVID if you take away my herniated disc. That's a little bit more difficult. That, you usually need to, like, go to the, see a doctor for that one. You, I know there's, like, uh, like kind of, like, places where you can go and get chased by a person dressed in a costume through, like, a bunch of rooms. I've, I've seen, like, clips of that happening before. I'm not sure what they call them, though. You feeling close to 100%? I feel fine to check out every... Yeah, but my, especially today uh, still voice is still a little off and uh, still sniffling and coughing every once in a while but mo the majority of the illness has passed <coughs> only solution or operation but those don't work I think they just like have to fuse the the vertebrae don't they I'm not sure I, my, I know my dad suffered from herniated discs Thankfully, I avoided whatever genetics that he had that gave him that bad back. My back is still in, you know, prime condition, I think. Or at least as far as I'm aware. I don't think I told you this bit, but I... Uh... You like a brand... A brand Dreamcast? With brand... I guess you meant brand new Dreamcast with half-life with it. Uh, I think you mentioned something about getting a Dreamcast not too long ago, actually. But hey, you don't have to. You can enjoy it for yourself if you like. Uh, know the feeling two weeks ago I got hit by a nasty flu-like bug. Couldn't do a thing for five days. Very much... I, I actually prefer a cold because the few times I've had a flu in my life, they have definitely... I, I like just like no energy. Whereas a cold just is all sinus related for me. So I can deal with that a lot easier. You lose mobility and sometimes a disc still gets herniated. Yeah. There's, a, there's that... The sad thing is when it comes to our back... There's not a lot of actually things they can do except for like take the pain away, if even then. There is no actually repairing a back once it starts getting bad. It's just like, well, we can like manage the pain. <coughs> like once the back gets a good good size injury to it, it's just like permanently injured. 
too sensitive of like an organ. I mean, when you actually look at us like a spine, it makes a lot of sense too, because that is that's a lot of moving bits. In those five days, dosed up on meds, taking my inhalers, and sleeping in between. Oof. Yeah, that's 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 a rough time then. Like, hey Garrus, welcome back, man. How you doing? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been a slow day, Chad. I don't think anything was anything worth talking about got happened today, did it? Though I will say, I miss the days of there being more than like 10 websites worth checking. <laughs> I, I want to go back to when, you know what, you want to keep up with like stuff on the internet, visit a hundred websites. Each one niche, but crazy in its own way. Now you can really just get by staying on like Reddit and YouTube and like fit in Twitter. <laughs> oh, it's a sad world. Uh, I think you aced the interview. You think, did you like, did you go in with your fly down like I recommended? I know it's hard to believe that would work, but it would. Got it for you. I, I understood that. I mean, hey, but if you want to enjoy it yourself, be my guest. Stem cell treatment in Mexico works. I swear to God, not even trying to be funny. I've heard about the stem cell treatments for like joint issues before. Uh, it's definitely worth looking into. There needs to be more research done on it though, because I don't, I don't think it's been determined. Because it could just be a placebo effect. You never know with that. So it, it does, it does need to be experimented on more. But there is reason to believe that yeah, it does, because stem cells can turn into like just the new tissues that they're injected in, into their injection site. Mm, but there's still a lot we don't know about how the process that works and whether it's very efficient or not. But I agree with you. It, hey, if that's all you got as an option, might as well. How am I feeling? Like I said, mostly back to normal, just still a little nasally. Skirt and all. Oh yeah, I guess they wouldn't have a fly on a skirt, would they? Or, or maybe they do. Do they have that? Yeah, well, they have like button areas, like you know, button it back, snap it together. <laughs> See, ladies, they ladies always get to go around with their fly down. It's called cleavage if they want. Guys, like it's got the you know what zip. There you go. That's our cleavage. Unless they're wearing jeans, then they get that. Then they get both. Huh. <clears throat> Some have zippers, usually on the side though, right? It's like, yeah, it's like it's like a little hidden zipper on the side of it. <laughs> before I forget, I'm gonna do my announcements now. <laughs> Unlike last night, where it was like 40 minutes in before I did them. Other than that, yeah, it's been a slow ass day. Garland, welcome back. How you doing tonight? I'm gonna rely heavily on chat to give me weird stuff to talk about. Cause I, my brain is like, mm. <laughs> all, I, all I did today was like get some, do some cleaning. Yeah, I vacuumed and mopped and everything, and I scheduled a haircut because this mop up on my head is getting a little too long. Gotta get this stuff trimmed. Gotta look good, you know. What's up, Loggy? How you friends? How you doing? Hope you had a good day. Also, Empty, thank you for the 34 months, man. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Oof. Like I said, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, just in, I'm in one of those like melancholy moods, I guess. I was like, you know what? Mm. <laughs> Chat, I, I, I need stimulation. This is what happens when your brain is coming down from like an illness, is like it just like wants to go into recharge mode. Like, you know what? I've been keeping you alive for the past week fighting off this fucking virus. You figure out how to use your mouth and think of things to say without me. Am I keeping the bushes trimmed? I'm assuming you're memeing, you're asking about my pubic hair for some strange reason. But the answer is yes, I do keep that trimmed. Not like any gentleman does. Why wouldn't you? Very simple, too. 
Hey, look, uh, you buy anything for Cyber Monday? I did not. I don't get into the whole... Yeah, let me go, like, get up. Well, you don't have to get up early anymore, do you? But I still don't do it. I have no interest in the whole Black Friday stuff. Because it always feels like a scam anyways, because... One, a lot of the stuff that's being sold on Black Friday is made specifically for Black Friday. Which usually means it's made about the cheapest parts they can find. <laughs> Or it's not even truly a markdown, it's just something shipped in from an area where it's cheaper and then sold in your area, so it's not even really being sold for less. Just like less than your area would normally be sold in. <laughs> you sound much better? Yeah, I'm, almost, I'm mostly recovered. I got some sniffles and a cough or so. Still gotta like hack up a little bit of phlegm when I woke up in the morning, but other than that I'm good. Watching as Brandon Perna is consumed by hopium as the Denver Broncos have won their last six games. Hmm, sports comments. Those are always going to be lost on me because I have never in my life been interested in sports. <coughs> mean your flower bushes? I don't have any flower bushes. Or you, th you think I wouldn't be constantly talking about my garden if I had one? I know what you're asking for. Plus, I, I'm, I rent. How would I have bushes that I can cut, I can trim? That'd be up to the landlord. What, you don't want to buy things for the same price or overpriced? Like I said, you're not really getting any real deals on Black Friday. It's, it's all of an illusion, chat. And you gotta put up with, like, possibly crazy people. If you buy something on Black Friday Cyber Monday, it's because it was buying it anyway. It just happened to be one of those days, hey? You just happened to find yourself out on that night, huh? I got three big Christmas gifts today, huh? Uh, do you mean so people gave you gifts, or did you buy gifts? It'd be either, either or. I'm assuming you probably get a lot of, like, you know, gifts from friends and stuff. Big social circle and all. Uh, soon Dart will recover and he'll be a real boy. Fuck that. You know how cool it is being a puppet? You gotta look like a, you know, like a, so, like a South Korean boy band member for eternity. Yeah, it was buy from my work, which was a real sale since my 20% off all stock. Huh. Yeah, usually if you work for retail during Christmas, they give you like a voucher for, an, for like a discount, right? Like one buy. They got the old Dardigan voice actor again. Yeah, the other guy just said, uh, the new guy, he didn't like it very much. Said something about the, the chat being super toxic and making fun of him. And, uh, yeah, we had to fire him. So they they gave me another chance. Gotta get you some window baskets so you can grow a little herb garden in, uh, for your pizza. That, uh, that's not a bad idea, but... Uh, the, my window situation in my apartment is a little difficult for that because I my two big windows in the front are like gigantic slide windows that open from the side and my kitchen window is taken up with an air conditioning unit so the only two windows left are here in my office and I kind of I don't know I so yeah, I guess you could put them there that'd be the only place but I'm not sure they would get enough sunlight given where they're positioned also got you two controllers and some games with it if Kate ever wishes visits you someday. Well, we'll see. My father got trampled over by a lady who wanted 50 cent socks. Well, hey, maybe her feet were cold. <laughs> Apparently Black Fridays aren't as full as they used to be. Yeah, it's been dying off slowly, especially after COVID and everything. Uh, but I think retailers realized it was a massive liability to have stampedes of people like rushing through their store to get cheap goods and so they've been cutting back on like opening the doors and letting like the the horde in so now they like st either they try to stage it or they don't hold it as early in the morning they do all sorts of different things and it just i guess it killed the enthusiasm for it you brought the gifts and it arrived i'm still i got i've done most of my christmas shopping but i got something still on the way since it has to be shipped from fucking china for some reason <laughs> And they haven't shipped it yet, and I'm getting irritated. <clears throat> Time for lies. You know what? For a game that says lies right in the title, lies don't really seem that important to it all. 
Like every once in a while you get the option to tell the truth or a lie, but it doesn't really seem to change anything. People are starting to realize they're being scammed. It's also because inflation has made everything so much more expensive that it's impossible to feel like you're getting a deal these days. Uh, God, the whole premise of Black Friday is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining over it. I've never been to a single one of them. And I've never had an interest in it. Look at me being a rebel. Yeah, he's so cool. He doesn't buy shit during sales day. God, I love him. And plus, I've always felt sorry for the people who work at retail stores during Black Friday. It's like, God, that must suck. I mean, I don't know why I'm like speculating. I, I've worked retail before. I kind of know. Contrarians are hot. Yeah, not being able to form an opinion on something. It's just like, fucking, oh, just take me now. I love it when they when they sit on the fence like that. Oh, shit, yeah. Got very lucky and was not doing the Black Friday shit for the first time in four years. Usually they like make sure everyone does that, right? Mm. Chad, do you remember just a few years ago when everyone was going nuts over like hoverboards? It's like I gotta get a hoverboard and get them Black Friday. Or is everyone still like killing themselves on those, or that is that a trend that died off? I remember like literally like they there was an entire aisle on a black prepare pressure in preparation for Black Friday sales of just nothing but hoverboards. It's like here's a two to three hundred dollar thing that you will probably use once, fail at, and then never again. They kill themselves on electric scooters now. I wonder why they don't realize they need to still wear a helmet. Juan, hey, Juan, Juan, welcome, uh, Juan's here? Well, hey, logical, also, thank you for your 37 months. Seriously, Dart, I'm trying to survive No Nut November and you're playing as a sex doll? Juan, you missed me having, uh, I've been sick the entire week, and you missed me at my absolutely verbally sexiest, so. You you lucked out that you chose today to come back right when I'm starting to feel well again and no longer raspy. What's, what's kept you from us, my man? We were actually wondering about you, I hadn't seen you in a while. I thought maybe I'd pissed you off after I, like, didn't really like Armored Core. <laughs> like, uh, I guess he just really was upset that I didn't like Armored Core and didn't finish it. But, oh, university? That's what I actually really thought. He's, like, he's probably just busy with life. Got finals or something. But, hey, glad to see you back, man. He was sick, yes. Just, just sick with worry. Dart got horny over an apple yesterday. Well, did you see the way that what it was wearing? <laughs> or the way they described it? Come on, man. That's a sexy fucking slutty apple. Do Dart, do you use a garlic press? I've been meaning to buy one of those actually. Normally I just finely chop my garlic with a with a you know a butcher knife. And I've gotten pretty good at that, but I have thought about buying a garlic press once or twice. Since they do seem pretty useful. <laughs> you know me better than to, to think I care if you like something. I know, that's one of the reasons. I, I just, you know, I've had people leave over me not liking a game before. So it's like, hmm, oh well, could have been that. Otherwise I'd left you forever ago. <laughs> True. True. Armored Core is kind of mid. I, I think I just got frustrated with it. I also, I don't know, I'm not really into games where I just had to rely on lock-on that much. It just kills something for me. I like actual active aiming. I don't like just hitting a button and staying, like, facing a, a person and then shooting. It just, you know, feels weird for me. Finals have been rough this week. Luckily, I had enough time to watch this stream. Don't worry, my work is fine. Hey, I'm expecting big things from your future. Dr. Guy with the three eyes. People get sick of me. It would be really hypocritical if I got sick of someone who is also critical of stuff, since that is my whole stick. I'm the whole stick of butter for when it comes to criticizing things. Sometimes even a little bit unfairly. 
Uh, mm, Sly Dante left over Ratchet, didn't he? That's what I always assumed because one, Sly Dante is a gaming journalist, so he has any. He, he, he would try to get on my case if I ever, like. Well, that made a joke and something he didn't like. But then again, he would, like, you know, pat me on the back when I made fun of something he didn't like. Like when I made fun of, like, Far Cry 3 for having a white savior complex. He, like, hey, good one on that one. So I've always just kind of assumed he didn't like my Ratchet and Clank video where I made fun of that game for, like, pandering. To like, oh, what if we had the female Ratchet and who's exactly the same as the male Ratchet and it's multiverse stuff now. I was like, okay. I've never seen him since, so that's what I just, my assumption. But then, man, you know what? Maybe he, you know, maybe it wasn't that. Uh, but whatever, I hope he's doing well. No matter what. If he doesn't want to watch me or not, I wish him the best. You use the lock-on? I played the whole game without it. It seems very difficult since it's all about shooting. <laughs> Uh, good. Never liked him. Uh, I didn't mind it. I like having a, a lot of different uh, viewpoints, chat, if you've noticed. I try to never get into that that type of frame of reference where you're like, you only want people who agree with you or who are like you. Exactly. I've always been like, it's healthiest mentally to have like people around you who can like have different opinions or, or, or even disagree with you entirely. Uh, or, you know, just middle of the road. I don't know. It, it, I feel like just having a bunch of different opinions and diff different worldviews is the best way of always making sure you don't get too ideological. So I was fine with the way Sly Dante saw things. Perfectly fine with it. Dante, who, a uh, long time, he was actually one, Sly Dante. He doesn't watch the streams anymore. <laughs> but he had, like, been, like, one of my very first viewers on Twitch. Like, like, like I remember the very first time I streamed, he'd been there, so. Uh, but, you know, things change. <laughs> You thought Dart would like that RNC due to furries? Well, hey, you know what? I'm playing this game as a furry, so you might as well. I'm getting my furriness out of it. I don't really consider Ratchet and Clank to be furries either. They're just animomorphic animals. You have quite the wide array of people in your chat. <clears throat> That's what makes your streams fun. I've always thought that exactly, too. I never want you guys to just blindly agree with me. Uh, Sly's okay. I've seen him on rare occasion in games done quick chat. Oh, so he does. He still exists. Maybe one day he'll come back. Maybe one day. Uh, I'm off to work for the rest of the week so I can have so I can have time for streams this week. Hey, well. Uh, you know what? That means basically Liza P and maybe Starfield later if I want to get around to finishing that. But hey, if it's for a week and then you gotta get back to work, understandable. Here's the thing, you're never going to agree with everyone and trying to find someone that does is incredibly stupid. Eh, that's I, like I said, I don't, I don't need to agree with everyone or need anyone to agree with me. I'm perfectly confident in expressing my opinion and then also respecting other people's. As long as it's not something crazy or dangerous. What console am I playing this on? I'm playing this on the console known as PC. <laughs> not to be a dick. I just, you know, it's on PC. I am, however, using a PlayStation 4 controller. Am I getting sick of you for being up, uh, for, for being up the Japan trip from time to time? And I apologize. I'm not sick of it. I just, one, I'm not concerned with it. Because I, if I ever want to go to Japan, it'd probably be a trip I would plan myself. And I would also feel really bad if someone was paying my way for me like that. And, you know, it's just a lot of comp uh, very complex situation to even put together. So I would rather you, like, go and enjoy yourself without having to worry about trying to duck take some random YouTuber with you. <laughs> hmm. Be right back. Roll in a joint. She's got a specialized room where she's got to roll the match hat. Be right back. Hits a button on the wall. There's a door at Sly. A shelf hiding a room. Kiss of gas. And it's just full of, like, memorabilia. It's the only place she can fill at home. Everyone has a weed room, right? Like, yes, welcome to my narcotics room where I engage in substances. And it's just like some, like, it's just a closet. Yes, welcome to the, my drug room. 
opens closet and like, yes, welcome. Make yourself at home. I mean, there used to be like hookah parlors and stuff. You could have like a, you know, a drug room. I don't do the drugs or the booze. I congratulate you, sir. So it's a hard thing to like, you know, stay away from these days, isn't it? It's my woman cave. The woman cave. Isn't that just the bathroom? <laughs> Sorry. I was always kind of assume, yeah, that's the woman cave. Gotta make that a, a comfy place. Hey, I, at least I didn't say, isn't that the kitchen? <laughs> that's the sexist joke I could have made. That I went with a more tasteful, the bathroom. See, Logical made it for me. I didn't even have to. Any room is a weed room, but then you get like your gunk all over your walls and you that smell. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like prepare, man. You like have a specialized room with proper ventilation and like scented candles so you can like, you know, you know have like RGB lights strung up. Nice, you know, tasteful paintings. Little shreds for women. <laughs> hey, it's perfectly fine to shred the guys too, you know. Now you feel uncreative. Hmm, well. We all have, uh, trust me, as someone who is considered a creative, I feel uncreative all the time. Something you constantly struggle with. Uh, easy to abstain from drugs and alcohol when you're too young for it. Well, one, you should probably abstain for as long as you can then. Especially, honestly, alcohol, I've never really gotten into the, I can understand like some of the like drugs, like, like weed or like shrooms. That's probably, that's all right, whatever. Alcohol though, I don't know. I've never, I will never have like, like I'll drink it if I'm out in a special event, but I will never like keep it at home just so I can drink it whenever I want. I just do not have like a taste for it. It's like, yeah, it's just like me. Yeah. I'm glad I've always been happy that I'm that way too. <laughs> you and Kate are my favorite streamers, and I would like you to go with you and Kate someday. Mm, like I said, I, I can't promise that, and I don't think Kate can either. But hey, keep hope alive, I guess. Ever feel creative enough? And I have a master's in it. I know that. Like I said, anyone who actually job relies on being creative are always beating themselves up because they think they 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 think it should be better. <coughs> and the exact opposite of you, I understand the appeal of drinking, but not drugs. Eh, well, hey, no, remember what I said about I like having different viewpoints. There you go. Like for drinking, it just like it's good for drowning out your problems, right? I guess I'm gonna like get drunk so I have to think about this thing. It's giving me anxiety. Encourage will make you drink. Uh, that's how it was for me until I stopped hanging out with those guys. I drank like a maniac. In, who, in, I'm not sure if this is like lost in translation, but is encourage something specific or is there just like a word missing there? I'm not getting. Weed is inherently fun. It feels weird and you have to develop a taste for that weirdness, not advocate. Well, you get that nice body high where you'll giggle at just about anything, though. Like you <laughs> that, that kind of giggle, you know? Entourage? That's what I thought. Hmm. Smoke weed and basically act the same. Hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm assuming it, like you have to. Well, you have to take like a lot. You well, know, guess it depends on how much you take. But also, if you just want, sometimes people just use it for relaxing and not to like get the full on high, right? You have a tall. Well, yeah, you can build up a tolerance too. <laughs> Now, if it helps take the edge off anxiety, that's probably all it needs to do for you. Mushrooms, however, are the ball. <laughs> are they now? You know what? Sure, why not? MDMA, now that's a party starter. Oh, that's the molly, right? Ecstasy and all that stuff. Take it when you're at the rave. 
so you can finally actually like that kind of music. <laughs> nice feature-length film you made of FF60. I know, right? That was a lot of work, man. Hell, Mortal Kombat ended up being almost as long, almost an hour long anyways, despite being like a stupid fighting game. There's just so much worth mentioning. But FF16, Jesus. I hope I never have a video that's longer than that. <coughs> You're always told the opposite. You have to get used to the taste of alcohol to enjoy. That's what I've always heard too, but I don't know how you would ever really enjoy the taste of alcohol. MDMA is wonderful in small uses with a partner and lots of water. If you have a bad trip, then they're purely nightmarish. What, from the shroom stuff? Well, I've seen the movie uh, the Midsummer, so I have an idea of what a bad trip is like. Apparently, you don't want to look in a mirror, ever. Or go, uh, well, I would assume probably don't want to go near water whenever there's drugs involved. <laughs> Speaking of FF16, would you say it's worth buying? Uh, honestly, yeah, I enjoyed the game. I'm, I still have my caveats about that, in that I I do find it to be a weird Final Fantasy game, almost like it's a Final Fantasy spinoff more than a full, than a mainline game. And I hope that isn't going to be how all Final Fantasies are going forward. I'd get really annoyed if that were the case. I much prefer what they did with like 7, where you have, an, where you have a party still. I don't even know about Trank. Is that Trank's the one that makes people like roll, like lean over like zombies, right? I wouldn't recommend that. I, I, we've already got enough people in the streets acting like they're from The Walking Dead. Caveat. What did I say? Caveat. I have a weird way of speaking, chat. Just learn to love it. It's one of those things you like about me. It's also what we call a regional accent. Be honest, you look for any reason to include Ugandan Shao Kahn in that video. I mean, when else was I gonna get to? All right, <laughs> that was the perfect opportunity. I'll never. I, I had to do it. There's no other way I could use it. That would be relevant, anyways. Hey, if you remember, in my last Mortal Kombat video, I managed to use that like the <laughs> one of my other favorite meme videos. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? <laughs> my daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. So I had to continue the trend of Mortal Kombat videos using, you know, some kind of weird meme video. I don't know why that's become a trend, but it now has. Does suck how they shied away from the party-based combat and the Machiavellian scheming. Uh, yeah, like I said, they could have, I think that would have still worked with party-based stuff. They had like other characters in there for it, but mm, they just didn't. They wanted you to like have all the powers yourself this time. <clears throat> it's also weird it feels like honestly the enemies in the game are the ones who feel like they have a party because they're the one with like different like ma they have like mages and frontline soldiers and tanks but at times it feels like you're the villain the party's fighting against uh dear dear friend of mine lives in skid row now because he's it was fentanyl over his 90k year job jesus that is some nasty shit and how that ruins lives like that. And that it's in everything now. It's like even if you have like a different drug you like, chances are there's fentanyl in it. What video game was my biggest letdown? Uh, for this year it would have been that uh, uh, Calypso Protocol. I was expecting at least like a Dead Space quality experience. Real shit ended up being is what it was. <coughs> But I would say, like, another big letdown for me was Final Fantasy XIII, because even though I never got interest in it, even when I first saw it, the trailers, for someone who had been a fan of the series up until that point, it was like, oh god, really? They're gonna go down this route of being shit, <laughs> like everything else. That came out this year, Calypso Protocol? Yeah. Came out earlier this year. Right along with Dead Space, remember? Or wait, was Calypso... Wait, wait, Calypso Protocol might have been late, late last year. Forget which one. Whatever, it's close enough. 
it's like still within a year at this point in time. I bet we get a Final Fantasy game where you were a legit villain. No Strangers of Paradise does not count. I mean, I, I, I've had the idea for a while that yeah, a, a RPG where you play as the villain from the villain's perspective somewhat. And I'm not sure how you'd make it work. It'd take some finagling, but it could be interesting. What's up, Dark Kabuto? Welcome back, man. How you doing? Sounding a bit better? Well, I, I'm mostly recovered. So, yeah. I think my voice is still a little bit nasally, though. Callisto was in December, so technically it's still within a year of when it released, so I'm still technically right. I'm going to use the word technically. 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 Te 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 te. <coughs> do you have do you have a cold yeah i just had a cold so i lost my voice and was hacking and coughing and you know all that you know fun nasally stuff How often does a writing tab of your discord get posted to i actually don't check that tab very often but it's i'm so always, there's always usually something in it right there's like quite a few people who like to post their writing in there i mean you can check it and see and look at that but the, the, the timestamps on people's most recent posts. Are you gonna watch the Game Awards? Yes, I will be live streaming the Game Awards. As always. Simmer down, Alex Jones. I don't know. I, I, I like a good Alex Jones joke, you know. I was rewatching some of your old videos and you talk so fast. I still talk pretty fast, don't I? At least I think I do. Because I got a lot of stuff I got to cover. I can't just like slowly mention everything syllable by syllable. Maybe I've slowed, down, slowed it down a little bit. Because maybe it's hard for me to under, people to understand me. But I still think I, I try to get through it pretty quickly. I mean, I still talk pretty fast during my live streams, if you notice. Like, this, this ain't slow speech. Sounded like 1.5x speed. Yeah, I probably have intentionally slowed down. It's one... It t I usually took a lot more takes to record everything when I would like to talk really fast since I'd flub lines more often. So I probably just like slowed it down to make it so recording didn't take nearly as long. <sighs> uh, do you know if you can split screen Twitch with a video game? Split screen Twitch? What do, you, what do you mean? Like, have Twitch open and a video game playing at the same time? Uh, I mean, you can leave Twitch open and then listen to it in the background while you play a video game. That's pretty easy to do. I've done that plenty of times before. Uh, but if you have a second monitor, you can have the Twitch stream up on that while you play a game on your main monitor. Or you can have, or you can pull out your phone, have Twitch running on your phone, play the game on your system. <coughs> Like rewatching your Mirror's Edge Catalyst Sin video because I wanted to replay it and geez, bro, breathe. You know, well, may maybe I'll go back to talking quickly. Make those videos a bit, you know, quicker. I, st I should actually go back and send the original Mirror's Edge at some point. Compared to your FF7 remake, it sounded fine. So which do you prefer? It's fast talking or more normal pace? Well, still higher than average, but normal pace. Modern dark pace? Okay, there you go. Because I can still do, I can, <laughs> I can still do fast talking if you like. And it is not very difficult for me to break right into it and just like speed run everything I say. It's like, I'm on cocaine, man. I did three lines before this stream. It is not, I'm just jazzing, man. I gotta go make another gay raid, and then I do my mail, and do taxes, and then you know, draw the drapes. You know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Holy shit, my mind's in like four different places at once. I can be like, oh, dex, 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 come here, dex. It's just a skill you develop over time. This is dangerous. <laughs> Dart of coke. Look, I have several mysterious powers, chat, and I have utilized all of them. I can I can speak quickly. I can think of co weird, wacky comparisons that make you think. And I can burp silently. 
I'm very good at stealth burping, you know. Guardian is on 2x. Guy's got a talented tongue. <laughs> Why would you put go there? But yes. Can you do one of those fast based auction voice? I don't know how to do the auction voice. I can just talk pretty quickly. Like uh, the, the tone, they use like. <laughs> Or can I have 50, 50, 50, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 88, 80, 80, 80, 80 to the man of the red code, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, And sold to the man in the back wearing nothing at all. Hmm. Speaking of drugs, I'm starting to think there was more in those cookies my friend gave me than I expected. That's a really good friend you got there. Well, have you blinked in the past hour? Maybe it depends on what was in them. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I, I think I'm going to actually play the video game now. Feels like a good opportunity now that the chat's all warmed up. Applied, y'all verbal lubed, all of you. Y'all in your, your Sunday finest. Uh, also, woof, woof, ooh, woo. Just in case, you know, that, that's the language of the furry, right? Woof, woof, ooh, woo. Uh, see if I can level up this sword now. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Wherever we get to answer what the fox says. I mean, it's not. You know what? I was disappointed when I learned it's actually we know very well what foxes sound like. They just make squeaks. Like you can go on YouTube and like, what does a fox sound like? And hear all their little squeaks they make. I need a dark moon covenant of the dark moon. Moonstone. Dark Moon Moonstone. Why is it called a Dark Moon Moonstone? I mean, that's kind of a redundant name. Welcome to... Any one of these, you know, the Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. Okay, they're just trying really hard to make it sound mysterious now. How far is Dart in the game? Uh, I had the, last night. I fought the the gang of like people wearing masks, like the big brother and his three younger brothers, and I that's the last thing I really did of any consequence. I know my way around a weapon. <laughs> oh wait, I need Ergo now. <laughs> Shit. I know my way around a weapon. And now we need four of those, huh? Hmm. Uh, I could add a motivity crank. Uh, actually, we could use a motivity crank to bring this thing scaling up from to A. Which would be good for me. About the white lady, the so you're only one third of the game. This game is longer than I anticipated. Wait, so yeah. This will bring motivity up to A plus. Good. I think I can also make a new arm too. Grab. 
I've got the flame thing, so couldn't make the Deus Ex Machina, which is where I place a mine on the ground. That seems like it could be good, but it seems honestly situational. And we have, you know, Pandemonium. Uh, the shield one kind of, I don't know, the shield might be good, but I don't really, really want it. And we got the gun. Which seems a little slow. You got drained on the game by the end. All right, I'm thinking Pandemonium or Mind Layer chat. Of these two, which do you think will be the most funny? Haha. -ha. I think if I'm thinking tactically, the Mind Layer might be pretty good. Whereas the you know I like spreading my goop everywhere too. Mind Layer sucks the hardest. Hmm. I get the feeling if I got it, I would only use it like every once in a while. Mm. Legion Arm that fires sticky acid substance that corrodes enemies that step into the white pool of acid it creates. Maybe the gun would be good though. 100 dark jizz it is. That's what I was that's what I'm leaning towards. Evil jizz. Uh, I can also upgrade it by press the fable button to change the direction of a pool of acid it's sprayed. So you can like make a straight line of it as well. Look at my veiny fucking arms, Jack. <laughs> Very vascular, isn't it? My vascular forearms. You want to look? You know, click on my TikTok to get my workout regimen. It's all chicken and rice diet gets you that, chat. No limit. Chicken and rice and work in those arms. <laughs> the Jizzler, that's my name. Hello, Batman. I'm the Jizzler. He's like, no, just no. I'm not doing this tonight. But Batman, you... No, no. It ain't happening. I, I refuse to fight someone named the Jizzler. So big and girthy. Thank you. All right, I think we need to go down here, right? Hmm. <coughs> hmm. 
darts and dudes, darts and dudes. I've got a lot of people I can send. What's your biggest complaint of the game? That it's a little on the easy side for a souls like. And it doesn't have enough enemy variety. But it does a good job in you know, getting atmosphere and you know feeling like a Souls game. This Legion arm is very hentai-esque of Pinocchio. <laughs> Why do you gotta describe it as hentai-esque? It's just my big throbbing vascular arm. This game is brutal as hell where the patches to make it a lot easier, so... How did was the enemies just, did you just take more damage or enemies take more hits to kill or something? Okay, okay. Okay, she just doesn't stop, does she? Okay, there I was complaining about the game being easy. They made the parry less shit. Okay, that feels like a good change then, if it was difficult because the, game, the parrying was shit. It is No Nut November, we're just blue balled. Okay, I, I have something I want to say right now. On December 1st, I do not want to hear the conversations beginning of like, oh god, of what you did that day, alright? Keep that to yourselves. I want to know of your relief. When I, when I stream on December 1st, I better not have, like, come in here and then, like, hear a bunch of people like, Oh, God, finally. Just, like, the biggest load. Oh, God, no. You, you want to believe how many tissues it took? No guarantees. Well, th this, this is not something I'm asking for your your agreement to. Like, just no. Alright, there's also a place you can drop down here, but it feels like I'd die or take a lot of damage in the fall. Oh, I could probably survive that, but I'll wait. Now you're almost guaranteed that some people... Yeah, more than likely, I'm just doomed myself. I'm hoping some of you, though, will have shame. Like I, like, I lost a part of me, bro. You know what it feels like to be a mother now. The load was just that big. I even gave it a name. Error 349. Shame not found. I know. Ten hit combo. Yeah, she seems to finish it up with like her unblockable too. Oh hell! I can't let her live. No, what, I can't go back down this ladder. Don't do it. I know they explode. 
chat. This is what some of you are going to be like tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, not tomorrow. We're going to a week. Hopefully it's not blue and smoky, though. That might, you know, require a doctor visit. About to bust. You like losing your mop. You mean jizz? Is it normally blue and smoky? Right, I think you've been eating too many Skittles. There's a few too many, sir. Or too much of the Baja Blast, whichever one it is you're eating. there right now. <clears throat> Where's that music coming from? Trick. Lies a pizza. Pizza. It's coming through the window over there, isn't it? There's no way to get up there to it, so I guess it's just a nice little detail. That's like tiny accordion music, right? That and uh, feel like substance of this world is a little thin. It nails the atmosphere, just not the souls. Uh, yeah, there's the lore is a little on the weaker side. I think that was always going to be the case when it's based off Pinocchio, not their own recreation. Oof. It's like Bloodborne was clearly inspired by Lovecraft, but it wasn't like it was it wasn't like the game was set in shadows of under in, over his mouth or something. Which would have tied them down more to what they could do. <laughs> nice of Patty. Don't trust the French. I'm about to bust all over this man, just because he's irritated me. Did he just heal himself? Or did I just not do any damage to him at all? <laughs> oh, we're in the theater district, huh? Gut sword, gut sword if it were made of bronze. So beautiful, Chet. Patty is known for its trash fires. It's in a little Bioshocky, a little bit with like the where the buildings are, yeah. They must be rioting again over something.
Now showing paradise. Oh. Guns are no fair if I don't get a gun. All right, this is a, I'm gonna like goop these babies. Heavyweight frame. Uh, let's see. This is good for me. Physical damage reduction rate. All right. <coughs> uh. Not the babies. Well, they're not actual babies. They're designed to look like them. Alright, I, I swear to god, if, if, if you ever see someone block your bullet with a sword, you run from that person, chat. If you've ever watched any anime, you know you're about to get your head sliced into about a million pieces if anyone ever blocks your bullet with a sword. That's like rule number one. Like rule one of things to do to run from. <laughs> People who can block your you bullets with a sword. The black dress. But it's just a puppet. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Exactly. A wedding ring. What is your stream announcement music on YouTube? I believe it's called Ghost Mound. It is from a video game. It's actually from the... I got it from like a game I kickstarted like years ago. Uh, many years ago actually. It's from the... Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, it's from a game called Hivestock, I believe. I guess at this point my unofficial theme song. Yeah, I think I was hit this way earlier, right? Yeah, pretty sure I was. What's up, Polly? How you doing tonight? Welcome back. Hope you had a good one. Yourself by the warm. When's the Moo Cult anniversary? I, I actually don't know what the start date was. I guess you could consider the official start date of that like the the day of my first Metal Gear Solid 4 stream. I don't know. Whoa! How rude. <laughs> like, I was not even looking for that.
How dare he? That could have been way worse if I'd been standing right in the middle of it, though. Walk through the goop field. On a goop, on a goop. Are clowns scary? I don't think they are. I think they're sad. And I, this is coming from someone who is a clown. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's why you asked that question. thing you do like of this game is that it keeps track of your side quests and where to go to turn them does it i didn't know that do you have a favorite cartoon from when you were young it might have been the x-men cartoon Either that or Batman. Those were top tier shit, man. And hey, the X-Men show is coming back. Well, sort of. It's just going to pick up where the original cartoon left off with Xavier like in a coma and Magneto taking over for him. Whether that's any good or not, who knows. They better reuse the theme song, though. Courage the Cowardly Dog. I really like Courage. That was good. I also like, weirdly, Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Unknown in the world is a little cat dog. Do not touch that. It's one of the few, like, 90s cartoons that doesn't even have vocals to its theme song. It's just a sick-ass beat. It's like... da 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 and no no words needed I know of no one who doesn't like that theme song Is this, was this a quicker shortcut I opened up over here when I unlocked this? I don't know if there was like a, one of the, like a, there might have been. Let's just check in real quick. In case I die, I get the clown again. No, it doesn't look like it. Samurai Jack is your, uh, back to the... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, back to... Sam yeah, I'll tell you another good one that also didn't require any lyrics. The MIB cartoon. It's just like fucking sick-ass harmonica music. With like a solid beat behind it. Exers go if you never saw the MIB cartoon look up the MIB cartoons uh, theme song it's sick as shit <coughs> I really do need to do that stream where I do a tier list of like video of like you know uh, cartoon theme songs that's going to be a good stream Mm. 
Not this time. I need to be careful that guy chucking grenades. He kind of screwed me last time. We're going to chuck stuff at him. the awful news of uh, Looney Tunes is getting deleted from Warner Brothers streaming service it's their legacy going down the shitter why it's fucking it's like literally their only legacy <laughs> like hey Neptune thank you for the 53 months by the way noticed you senpai well I said your name hello are you using it as a tax write off how do you write off a tax write off how do you get a tax write off from like stopping something you that's decades old You've already made from, made money from. Or do you mean some kind of like current Looney Tunes thing? Or do you mean like all of Looney Tunes? Like did they have like a movie they're making and they're like stopping it? Because I don't care about that. I only care about classic Looney Tunes and Tiny Tunes as well. Alright, I'm going to bust on this clown. <laughs> about to bust on this fucking clown. Oh shit. Going to bust it on me too. Got to walk through my goo. This is a really bad spot. All right, I'm beginning to not like the fucking clown. At least that's pretty easy to dodge. Shit, my sword's almost busted. Get back here, fat ass. <laughs> Whoa, come on. I think I'm dead, chat. <laughs> he, he laughs at me and then he dabs on me. Would a clown spray water when they come or confetti? Why do you want to know? It'd be seltzer water. What do you think they're spraying on you when they, when they do their hijinks? From their flower. That's how a clown actually reproduces, by the way. It's the flower. They're photosynthetic. Clown reproduction is actually... You gotta go to school for that. Clown OC. Yeah, the Clussy. Fuck these guys, I'm not fighting them again. Be a sweetheart. <laughs> Played a clown a few times. You know what? It's probably a better clone.
thing the annoying thing about this fight, it's kind of hard to like, you have to go through a bunch of stuff to get back to it every time you die. I'm gonna use one goop line this time. Come this way, Mr. Clown. <clears throat> Sixteen year old left you a note in your car, said text me beautiful and his number, so I guess he liked clown. <laughs> what a what a chad. Text me beautiful. Why didn't he just put in like Text me, doll face. Text me, doll face. We'll go to the soda shop and get a malt. That's how. You, that's when you know someone's getting like dating advice from their grandpa. Matt Dardigan, master of Rizzoli. I have my techniques. Stop hitting me with your clossy. Just walk in my goop for a second, would you? Thank you. He hurts so much, chat. He hurts so much. That's what really damages my sword a lot. Oh, fuck. Okay, stop doing your unblockable moves, alright? Oh, come on. You've done it like six times in a row. You Oh, I was dodging that so easily last time. What happened? Back to work, Paul. Like, I have a good night, man. I'm eating too much Klossy tonight, chat. The one thing I don't like about this sword I'm using is it takes a real long time for the wind up for its like charge attack to like put them in like that state or like this the, the you know the deadly move. Getting Klossy fried. Kentucky fried Klossy. Forget about 
the dude. Back to it again. The bonfire right past him. I could probably run past him and get to it then. But I'd really rather like destroy this this fool. This fool champ. What's problem? I want problem. <laughs> I need to watch that entire movie at some point. I could be like a chat watch along. I doubt we get copyright claim for watching like African Mortal Kombat. Wait, what? You don't know about African Mortal Kombat? I literally had. Did you? Do you remember that? My, you watched my most recent video, right? Where I had like African Shao Kahn in it. That's from the movie. You know what? That's a very convincing Shao Kahn too. It's like a weirdly enough, that is actually a really well written line. I don't want problem. I don't want peace. I want problems. He's career motivated. <laughs> you get your Klossy over here. You and why is a clown hit so hard? I'm doing really bad this time. For the 200 bits, by the way, Gringo. I can't read the comment yet because I'm just getting my ass stop on. You won't stop unblockable moves. Uh, yeah, he does way too many of those. I'm going to turn red moves. I'm going to state that after the awful news that Warner Brothers is destroying their own legacy, it's very important now that physical media needs to still be preserved. True. Oh. Gonna give that guy the oh the oh yeah he was looking for the ring wasn't he? I kind of forgot about him. Oh, my melody. This is her wedding ring. Our I should tell him the clown killed her. Filled with joy. <coughs> I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. But she was real to me. I saw a shining soul inside her. 
Others laughed at me, but I was I knew fucking the a truth. puppet. I get you, bro. We've all been I there. I knew that she was in love with me too. Maybe I'm crazy though. <laughs> Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? I forget which one. Whatever. Melody. I don't know which one was a lie there. My melody. Your words were everything to me. <laughs> she was my guardian angel. The reason I survived the Krat disaster. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry. I ramble when I get upset. It seems like this game has a message. Do you lie to make people feel good? I think or tell them the truth? This ring more than I do. I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. I wish I could offer something more. But this is all I have. Was Please. it a lie? She left the note? I must have not found Remember the note. The love Melody and I shared. Or no, I did. I just Who didn't knows? realize what it was. Never mind. Maybe you'll find true love one day, too. We got the sad emote. Something I can wear? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the wedding ring. It's like something I can equip. Oh. Quote the best Mortal Kombat line. I must consult with the Elder Gods before I can answer this question. Give the ring to the robot at the Crown Hotel. Uh, which one? The the butler or the... Shit, I keep getting shot by this asshole. Oh, okay. That's the first time one of those actually got me. Alternate universe stuff they pulled in MK1 African Shao Kahn is technically canon. I mean, hey, why not? He's better than their in-universe Shao Kahn, though. No. Why are you taking the long way? There's a sh Where's the shorter way? I looked for it. I know I unlocked a gate over here, but I didn't see the safe point for it. Nice video. Oh, thank you. Other end of this street. This is really that short. Less enemies. Well, there's plenty of enemies. There's the less annoying ones. Okay, there it is. You thought of a new poem title, so you must write it down. Uh, I need to, like, go back anyways.
So since we talked about Looney Tunes failing and since the DC Universe also seems to be pretty much dead at this point, what is Warner Brothers doing? What is, what is their big rework plan? Make some movies people want to see. You're changing somehow. That is how you are unique. You can go beyond a puppet's limits. I don't even know if Geppetto is aware of this. They own Learn Game of Thrones and Rick and Morty, behave. right? Well, Rick and Morty had a big upheaval you. recently, too, you know. Even lie if you must. Those lies may change you. May rewrite reality. Lies are a weapon used by humans who thrive in a world of deception. I'll use my power to... All right, uh... Yeah, I just need a, a touch more. There we go. I'll use my power. How much? I'm literally just a few away. Hitting harder. Welcome to Hotel Prague. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. So what, I can sell that? You said I could sell this ring to him? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Oh, whatever. I need to like get the harvest my gold tree. I just want recover stones. You can progress certain quests. There's going to be a notification stargazer telling you where to go. Stargazer? Well, I like that feature. Because the way uh, typical Souls games does it is a little... Well, one of the true complaints you can offer about those games. You're going to go, Mike? Hey, have a good night's sleep, man. Going to bed early tonight, huh? Stargazer is your bonfire. Oh, okay. Where does it tell you that at? Like on the list of like these or something? Inside the house of Elusia Boulevard? Apparently there's one I could go do, but I don't really care for it right now. Yeah, that's a decent little, you know, quality of life improvement. I approve. I approve. And let's go kill us some Clossy.
I'm a decent quality of life improvement. As long as I'm decent. Chat, get yourselves a girl who will tell you that you're you're a decent quality of life improvement. It's the best compliment you're ever getting. No, no, no. Oh, shit, he followed me. Fuck. Or just said, ooh, I've been saying ooh, ooh ironically while wearing this wolf head all throughout my time with the game. be impossible to fight that dude while well, that guy's uh, throwing bombs at me. I didn't want to fire my goop off. Oh, it happens every man though. Wasted good chunk of my goop. <coughs> Hurry your lard ass up, man. Like that mask episode in Goosebumps, the mask is what you'll slowly become. Wow, Goosebumps. You know what? Another really good, uh, people still use the Goosebumps, uh, show's, uh, intro music for, like, Halloween specials on YouTube all the time. Doot, 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 Hi, Dark. What's up, Morgan? How you doing? That's a hard move to predict coming. Fuck out, fuck out, no. I think I've got this classy beat. Eat it, clown. Oh, I hate this bastard. Exactly. My sword even broke. <coughs> hate clowns, shot. 
Eventually, you're gonna have to learn to parry. Wait, I thought you can't repair. This whole point of it being a red attack is you can't parry it. <coughs> you get a perfect parry of them? I must have missed that information. Red, you can't dodge or block, but you can only perfect. Oh, see, I was thought that red man. You know what? Just dodging the shit. Fucking bombs. Well, the clown doesn't respawn. That's all that matters. song is It's Are You Lonesome Tonight? Hey, it's probably cheaper than coming up with the music for themselves. You know what? Where's it gonna like get this like copyright free like, you know, public domain music? Can you ask that clown? Is it cold in the bottom of the food chain? <laughs> oh, he, he seemed like a very tough clown. He was eating well. <laughs> Some neat lonesome people here. What makes you guys lonesome? Fancy looking place. No, are the happiest days of our family because of its presence. I miss you, Camilla. Celebration of Lady Siren Asani, the Queen of High Society and sponsor of the arts. Wow, what a mansion! Oh, no. Definitely, look at the look at those those drape. Look at that. Look at the architecture on display. Well, I think this is like a theater, not like a mansion. Maybe a museum, I don't know. Whatever, there's money behind it. It's a very specific sound bit. It very, all of my all of my sound bits are very specific. They're all dear to me though. Alright, let's go level up. You made battered mushroom, 6 out of 10. I forgot how greasy. I'm going to actually make chocolate chip cookies probably tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. I haven't made them in a while. And I've got some really good butter for them, so why not? And you share them with chat? No. Like, how would I do that physically? I could cutely share them, like, oh, here you go, chat, here's your num-nums, and then pretend like you're nomming on them, but that's all, that's as far as we're getting on that. I'll use my power to help. Black garlic butter, I don't think garlic butter would go very well with, you know, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, she... I think I might up stamina a bit more. Uh, 
I think we can also, we got another piece of quartz so I can put another P organ inside of me. So many P organs inside this lone little boy. You must show them on stream, do a cooking stream. But I don't have a setup in my kitchen for doing a cooking stream. I need like a laptop for that and I don't own one. You, you want me to move my entire PC into my kitchen so I can, you know, and also hook up a camera that I don't have? Uh, we definitely want the enhanced pulse cell recovery. Enhances the recovery effect of pulse cells. Also adds belt slot. Add, increases the number of belt equivalent items. Shorten fruit bearing time. Increases cube use. Look at this one. I might go buy another piece of quartz. We actually just want OnlyFans. The only thing I do on that is feet pics of my very vascular feet. My perfect toes. Perfectly formed toenails, too. You know how difficult it is to get perfectly formed toenails, chat? That's a rare trait. You need perfect genetics for that. Welcome to... Mm hmm... Need 2800 for one of these, huh? Wait, why is he selling the same thing for two different prices? Like this one's 2800, this one's 29. You know what? That apple will be looking pretty good, too. How much was it again? 2800, okay. Can't stay here long since I plan on playing Liza P and I want to go in somewhat blind. Well, I thank you for your first time chatting. Uh, Exotorian or is it Zetotorian? I'm not sure. And also, thank you for the 25 bits. Uh, you know, welcome to the stream for your first time. Even if you're, maybe, maybe the next game I'm playing, you can stick around longer. But nice to have you. He's sold out of the cheap ones. Now I got I can go want more of those. I gotta buy the twenty nine hundred dollar one. <laughs> stir fried rice. Hey, stir fried rice. Stir fried rice. What the fuck? Stir fried wife. Chat. Sometimes I scare myself. I like some stir fried rice. Turning into a Looney Tune Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd was the first speaker of Uwu. We all agree, right? He's always putting like was in there. That's where Uwu originated at. He's like patient zero. Fudd was the first closeted furry. Uh, there was quite a few Looney Tunes characters who like would dress up in other animals. Alright, I guess we're ready to continue our adventure. To the Opera House. These are early American cartoons that influence on anime. You may not be too far off. Mm, well, it was mainly Disney, wasn't it? I had to choose uh, on what company went down the shitter the hardest. What would it be between Disney or WB? Between... 
Okay, let me be clear with something. There are far worse companies than two movie companies who just make shitty movies every once in a while. In terms of harm done, they're pretty minor. Just don't watch their fucking movies. I can think of way more worse companies out there than Disney or Warner Brothers. It's like, hmm, would I rather shut down Disney or would I rather shut down Cancer Core? Or whatever, I don't know. There's like, maybe I want to shut down De Beers and their gold and their diamond cartel. Or shut down any of the, one of the, th the companies that, you will know, use children to mine cobalt in Africa. Or fucking Nestle, where they, like, steal water and sell it back to you. I think there's better options. Wow. What a mansion. <laughs> Let me enjoy the atmosphere, small angry child. This is way too much house. Opera houses have to show where the money went. Like, is there any such thing as like a poor looking what? Yeah, has anyone ever made what looks to be like a poor, a poor opera house? Like this is the, this is the common man's opera house. An opera house for the, you know, the person who only, you know, who works a nine to five. Usually opera does get associated with like upper class, right? Like it's for, it's for the refined part of society. Uh, there's a three penny opera, the Brecht, absolutely. Oh, these puppets got strings. Shit, that debuff stack is not good with that one those things were just putting on me. I don't know what it does. I didn't get it full up. It kills you instantly. I see. Good to know. Those companies are nothing in terms of doing harm in the world, but I'm asking what companies would have been avoided on going down the shitter versus their BTS actions. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I, I never want to be one of those YouTubers who are constantly talking about. I, I don't want to be a YouTube grifter who gets released like a video every day talking about the newest movie they don't like. I know that's weird coming from me, where I'm like always releasing stuff on video games, but I I try to approach it from an angle of like you know what I only get released a video every, at best every couple weeks, and I try not to get emotional about it. I never went, well guys, let me tell you about the recent movie that just has too many women in it. Uh, disruption occurs when disruption damage builds up. When the disruption damage gauge fills up, your character will die. Use a petrification ampoule to remove disruption damage before you die. I think I've got some of those. Don't like the Marvels. I have the only Marvel movies I've watched with it comes to, like is like Iron Man and the Hulk. That's the the first two. That was it. I've seen like clips here and there of all the ones since then, and that is that. I've never really cared. That 
It's the majority of online film criticism now. We are back in the 2015-2017 anti-SJW. There's certain YouTubers that are like, just that's just their game, you know. It's like, hey, they've got they got their niche, and then why would they get out of it? But I I don't know. I just feel so I don't know. It doesn't feel feel like fulfilling content to me. That's not something I'd ever want to do. Hey, don't kill me! Don't kill me! I don't like this at all. Fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, oh. Right this way, madam. Walk through the goop. You can't avoid the goop. You're getting gooped on no matter where you go. And that goop was the best decision I ever made. Anti armor is a lifesaver. It is indeed. Slowly pets my writhing goop arm. <laughs> Done me good, goop arm. There's shit everywhere in here for some reason. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go, so I kind of want to go back to the beginning of the area and check that area the spider lady was guarding. Have you played Remnant 2 by chance? It's lacking in story content, so it's unlikely you'll do this in the video. Uh, I have the drip feeds there since it won't let me do all the one. Thank you for the 25 bits, by the way. And I have not played, I haven't played either of the Remnant games. Uh, I don't know, they just didn't really look that good to me. Or, like, or at least they didn't look like the kind of game I'd want to play. I hope we get an opera boss for this this level. Like a like a, the opera singer I mid-health mean, bar appears. Okay, these things really suck.
Hey, pretends to know. Thank you for the signal. Well, good evening. Glad you're doing better. Just curious, have you decided yet between Alan Wake 2 and Spider Man? Well, I don't decide. It's the votes, but it's Spider Man 2. So that's what I'm starting work on tomorrow for the script, actually. Technically, I've already started on the working on it, <coughs> but it's just light work. <laughs> tomorrow, the real writing begins. Co-op remnant with Kate. Well, I've already got Baldur's Gate to play with that, so I'm good for it right now. They told us this prima donna to break a leg. Well, that's a... Okay, he came prepared. Like, which one? <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's a fire hazard. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, too. I like this, like, just barely there musical mus music you can hear in the background. It's like... Ooh. Not too in your face, but it, gets, it sets the mood. Uh, you're back. Did I miss anything? We're in an opera hall with enemies I can kill by singing at you to death. disease took away my songs riddles i was fooled by him he said this place was a shelter patricia i'm so sorry oh patricia i'm so sorry i'm parched oh she needs Just that apple Taste of fruit? Should have bought it earlier. Please, sir, uh, just a single apple. I will buy you an apple. Very expensive, sexy apple. Uh, Dargan is hoping for an opera boss. Hopefully nothing reminiscent of Nier Automata. Why? That was a great fight. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to, like, go back and have all these enemies respawn, so I go back and buy her the apple either next time I die or when I reach the next, you know, little, like, Stargazer. Which one are we? <laughs> this is kind of reminding me of being back in like the National Museum of Art in New York, somewhat. It's got the same feel to it. This way, and no, I think it went all the way down last time. Yeah, actually.
Alright, so we do need to... Uh, yeah, I'll just wait until the next Stargazer. I don't want to go back and buy that Lady in Apple just yet. Speaking of Nier Automata, do you think Platinum Games is good after recent events? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, Bayonetta 3 was alright, but it was not... It was like the weakest of the three Bayonettas. And they... The, the Babylon's Fall, though, is like such a failure for them. It's like the biggest flop they've ever had, so... I don't know. I'll wait until their next game. I know that like the director is you know left and is retired now, so we'll see. My hope is that with Konami allowing Metal Gear games to exist again, that they've already like hired them to make a Metal Gear Rising 2. That'd be nice. Wasn't the Metal Gear collection shit? Yeah, but that's, you know, porting. You know, Konami's always releasing collections that are, like, subpar. They do it all the time with Castlevania. Oh, hello. Are we fighting a mime enemy? Oh, it's a ballerina enemy, I think. It's, oh, no, I don't know. It's a mix of everything. Barely. <coughs> Puppy, have a good night. Seen Silent Hill Ascension. I don't have much faith with them. I don't. I mean, I've not trusted Konami at all since they've announced like new games. They have not earned it, and so far, nothing they've released is like giving you reason to like trust them. Like Silent Hill Ascension was shit. The Metal Gear collections are subpar ports. I guess for now we have to hope and maybe hope and pray that the Metal Gear Solid Three remake is gonna be good. Oh. Sorry. I had to snort chat. <laughs> New York City would make a great Souls game location, honestly. You mean like the full... Like an open world Souls game or something? I'm not sure if that would be... I don't know. It depends on what your setting is. Like how your context is. Exploding pickaxe blade. Okay, this is a weapon I could use, but I don't know if I will or not. This is currently better. Secret art. The thing is, I can't test the secret arts without using up my stock of. You know, I, I, yeah, if I want to test that out, I have to use up those stocks that have to then build up again. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, did you hear of January 1st M Mickey is entering public domain only like the original Steamboat Mickey right like there's that's how they're getting away with it there's like well there's multiple different Mickey designs and only like the original one is going to be like in the uh, that the legendary actress Adeline Corday even those who envied her reputation loved her what her songs. No syringe. Well, I've got some, but I just never used them. <laughs> yeah, 
know, this is about as easy as finding your way around the Met as well. <laughs> I am now going to go buy that lady an apple. <laughs> She's hungry, goddammit. She's hungry. Want something juicy? Mm, don't we all? How often do I stream? Generally, I try to stream five days a week for at least four hours a stream. Uh, every once in a while, I have to take maybe a few extra days off to like do video production stuff or maybe something else comes up. And often, sometimes there's days where I stream for longer. I'll go for like five or even six hours. But that's the average. Usually five days a week for about four to maybe five hours. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How may I be of service? You to buy an apple. Hmm. Speaking of juicy, you have your filet mignon. Uh, yes. <laughs> Though I had it a few days before I released the video. I had it in my freezer, and it was just like I didn't want to get freezer burned, so I went ahead and made it. Because I'd bought it like like back in July. Finally had a chance to watch the MK1 vid, Chef's Kiss. I'm glad everyone liked it so much. Thank you for the support, chat. Time to deal with your spiders, bitches. I got a hungry lady to feed. And she's a very fancy lady. In a very fancy room. Here you go, lady. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the sweetest apple I've ever had. A oh, damn girl. I she is into the apples. Death from taking me, but I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Trisha, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it, then even if I have to break you, Adelina Corday must have it. Okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have given this bitch an apple. I know it's wrong, but still, <clears throat> I love you. <clears throat> Oh, she did a bad. I know it's wrong, but still, I love you. <laughs> well, you enjoy your fine silks. what they want me to do. Oh. 
this this beam looks really out of place too in the in the design of the level. <laughs> That's not how that floor would be designed, I don't think. They used the wrong assets, or they just had it on hand, they plopped it in there. Oh, we're at a boss fight already, I don't care. Kind of wanted do to go down there, but yeah, we'll wait. I want to see the boss. Isn't in Jap didn't they in Japan they actually did have like automata theater where they had like clunky little robots or like, technically not robots but just like little puppets on machines that would do theater foreshadowing <laughs> is that what he's doing was that a what was the question D doesn't J didn't Japan in the old days have like automata theater where they'd have like little machine puppets that would, you know, perform little acts. <laughs> Yavanese puppet theater, Kamakiri. <laughs> Down in front, blocking the view. I did the theater mass change. That's how you take What's up, Mr. Max? How you doing? King of puppets. Oh, this is the dude. Pirouettes.
No, I need to stop attacking for a sec. Let me get my special hit on you, bitch. Oh, I need to. I don't know. This this sword just takes too long to do this the wind up swing. I might go back to my original one. See the parry, the red. Yeah, I did it once. Years of playing Souls games, Dargan still hasn't realized that speed trumps damage. Well, I like I I've played Souls games different ways. I've gone for speed and for like heavy hitting more, and for magic. I don't want to just play the same type every single time I play one of these games. Right in the dick. I think there's no way this guy doesn't have a phase two. This is gonna have one. Phase two. Hmm. <coughs> oh no, is he as pretty as I am? Or is he me? <laughs> it's Virgil Pinocchio. Romeo, King of Puppets. Do very good against him. Is this the final boss? I would highly doubt it. All right, I think I'm gonna. I like this sword, but I think I need to switch off it. It's just too a little too slow for like dealing with stuff.
about halfway to the game. Okay, that feels about right. Actually, I could have both of them equipped. I keep forgetting I can do that. Oh, that makes me too heavy, though. Oh my god, let me check my build. Life amulet, increased damage, and then upon a successful perfect going... They seem to be much better. I think I'm too heavy. It might be this on me. It's making me too heavy. Yeah, let's, there we go. We'll do more damage with puppets. Give my stamina speed up. Alright, that should be good. Boss fight is the updated nerf version, if you didn't catch that yet. the up It's nerfed? Okay. Apparently the entire game has been nerfed. Shit, have I? Time to fight Twink me. Okay, that's a wicked combo he's got.
Oof. Oof. Dead chat. Ain't no coming back. Alright, going down. Huh? <coughs> ballet chat. Are ballet boss fights or are, are bosses that do ballet always a bitch to beat? It feels like they are. It's like the, the developers like, you know what? We spent a lot of money on these animations. We're gonna make sure you see them multiple times over and over and over again. <laughs> Cause like yeah, they they sprung for the ballet dancer to do the mocap. Like yeah, we gotta make sure they see this a few times. I always get that feeling when the game. Like you know a boss is about to be tough when they 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 sprung out of the checkbook for the animations. Is there a way you can know what he says? I don't know why games are like doing that these days. Like, let's have like a language you can't read. Okay, I'm sucking real hard right now. I did not do well that time. I did so well the last fight on the first part. <coughs> All the near games are worth playing. Uh, I didn't hate the first near when I played through it a year or so ago, but I definitely think near Automata is superior to it. Supposedly, the developer is like working on other things right now, but it wants to do a sequel at some point. I've been drained of. I, yeah, near gets stalled was just. Oh man, man. The whole idea of going through it multiple times in that one was way more exhausting than it was in Automata.
All right, on to the tough part. in here too. I, mean, I think I'm, my timings are all off now for some reason. Okay there, Melania, Blade, and Michaela. Okay there. I see what you did. Time to activate fuck you mode. <coughs> Alright, so he uses... I gotta protect myself from that burn status. <coughs> oh. Might also want to have some of this. <laughs> Romeo seems to do rapid attacks in succession. I, I noticed. He's just like, I'm going to wail on you. <laughs> Someone's getting frustrated? No, this is actually a pretty good fight. That being said, I could end up frustrated. <laughs> And if I ever get too frustrated, I can just like, you know, do that. He's gonna attack me before I get the second in.
stop, stop. I'm literally getting face fucked in the corner here. That's weird. I can sometimes do really well against this guy, and then other times I just struggle against the first part. Was surely going to be a loss because I lost, used up too much health there. like the mechanic where I gotta sharpen my blade during a boss fight though. Heavy hitting, bigger heavy weapon would actually work better on Romeo. Mm. Like I said, I got one. But I'm not sure. Like, this hits almost as hard as my other weapon does, actually. Let's look at the stats real quick. So, yeah, my other, this sword is 181. My other sword is only 187. So it's only slightly more damaging. It does have a guard parry on it though, so maybe I could be using that. What's up, my guy? <clears throat> You're craving waffles. What is stopping you from having them? Those are pretty obtainable. I'm starting to really hate this first part of the fight. It's because he's just like, I'm gonna swing. I might actually do the summons to get part of the. I might start using the summon to get to the part, the first part of the fight best. Because I need more practice fighting this dude.
No! Give me the... No, you fucking... Whatever. That just did nearly as much damage anyways. Stand in my group. Okay, I just gotta run and not try to dodge. He just, ah, uh, yeah, we, he, someone's been playing <laughs> Elden Ring. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's parryable, right? Um. <coughs> <coughs> Why my stamina bar is so small? Since I, have, I've been pumping other things. <clears throat> I don't think it's that small of a stamina bar. It's a perfect link. No one's ever complained about it before. in this part of the fight. Probably gonna use up several health. I hate it. Shitting wink. How oh, that move is so. Mm. What these do doing? Nothing, he just dodges it.
<clears throat> Sorry, that death was brought to me by my cough. Hmm. <clears throat> Need the group to be like that, not a straight line. <coughs> huh. I think we're gonna be probably spending most of the night trying to beat this guy. Or will we? Or will we, Chad? You know what? I haven't used this once. Why not do it? Make it see what it looks like. Who do you actually summon? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Guess they're already in there? <coughs> oh, there they are. Oh, I... I mainly just want them to help me get to this first part of the fight faster. Still losing just as much health. New friend, that's one of those summonable ones you can get right before a boss fight. I decided to help use it to help me get through the first part of the fight faster. Plus, my cough is getting worse, and it's really gonna make fighting this guy really tough. <coughs> I might die if I'm not careful. on stream just another month hey i've been sick all week so he's gonna be using his special move and anything else i could be ready actually I'm using it now I survived and I got new clothes. Incredible! You defeated the king! Woof. I think Ooh. the puppets will have changed too, right? There's only one way to find out. Huh. Let's go backstage. When did this place catch on fire, by the way? <laughs> I forgot. Okay, let's check out my new clothes. Yeah, sorry, I got like, snored a bit now, chat. Puppet Prince, formal dress. Ooh, I'm fancy. This is a got earlier, but you know, might as well wear it now. 
<coughs> Maybe this is how Frieden Fre Frieden feels? Frieden? Frieden? And also, welcome to the chat, Jace Griffin. How you doing? This, this fight made my cough worse, chat. <laughs> worse, chat. Oh, but it was a good fight. I've been reading what the Puppet King says. What does he say? How would you how did anyone translate it? <clears throat> Geppetto, father. I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully, the last right. puppets will die down soon. I give you the bits, now by the way. The king is dead. The puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The grand exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists, both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. <laughs> Maximum number of pulse cells in the case. Oh, nice. That one puppet could control so many others. Father, why was that That's puppet a, a twink like me? Feet indeed. Unlike a real king, <laughs> the puppet left no heir. The remaining puppets are leaderless, and we can reclaim the city. But it's still a city beset by the petrification disease. Seek a cure from the alchemists at the Grand Exhibition. Okay, we'll do. Oh, here we go, Chad. New area, new task. Fighting zombies again, too, I think. In my new clown outfit. As we're fighting zombies, I actually might go back to the bigger sword too. Now I we'll probably want the corruption or corrosion, whatever it was. Zombies, zombies, which are, you know, you'd think you wouldn't be dealing with another game based on Pinocchio, but that what they be. <sighs> you guys want to attack me? No, they're still attacking me. Father, you lied. So they would they'd be aimless. I guess there's just someone up there in the room playing the accordion. They were no, I walked in front of one and he like turned to attack me. Yeah, that one's getting up to come at half a piece. Alright, one at a time. Oh, 
ball headed dog. That's a scary thing. They know I'm the king's murderer. How? I was I was the only one there for it. You know what this music is reminding me of somewhat? <coughs> There's a game that was on PS2. What was it? What was it? What was it called? Uh. Uh. It was a. It was a. Shit! Why is my blanky? Evil Cloud? No, it's something with Cloud. Dark Cloud? Oh, I forget the name of it. It's a game where you, like, build up a city while you rescue, a, like, dungeon crawl. It's very anime-looking. <laughs> I think this might have been Dark Cloud or something. Dark Cloud, yeah, Dark Cloud 2. I like this, like, steampunk village, and it had a very French feel to it. <clears throat> uh, I remember really liking that game, but the, uh, the music playing right now and not the atmosphere, for some reason, sort of reminds me of it. Never played two. Two was very good. What's going on? All these puppets look utterly down, depressed even. And that seems weird. That's weird, right? Depressed puppets. Les pues un... What is this very long French thing you've mentioned, Lucky? That you love? <coughs> Means the fish. Oh, you love fish. Sad puppets. Uh, the French chef sings it as he decapitates Ariel's friends for dinner. <laughs> Pretty glorious, a dinner which he eats, by the way. What? I'm guessing this is from the book, not the Disney movie, because I don't remember that scene. It's the movie? Wait, Flounder got eaten? And Sebastian? No, that can't be. Just NPC. Oh, it wasn't our, like, main friend, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Weird. I mean, when you think about it, <coughs> what would you think they were eating down there? It wasn't just seaweed, you know. They were definitely eating fish. Even though they're mermaids. where I'm like snorting like a pug right now. What happened to me? I was fine almost all the way until now. Cannibalism is okay. Well, fish have to eat something in the water. Tough one, I see. I just got a lot of like 
stuff in my throat. That wants to come out. Bubonic plague. I mean, technically, you still can get that these days, I think, right? Clockwork sword blade. Not really a weapon for me, it looks like. But it's fancy. Never try the dancer sword. No, let's continue using my big ass Bowie knife. It just seems like it works. Oh, actually, no, my my this sword. <coughs> 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 try to relive for the remainder of the stream <laughs> both in game and here in my in reality Lorenzi Arcade Someone was moaning. Will you ever do a sins vid on Hitman uh, WAO trilogy? Uh, I've thought of it. Uh, come on, this lady's beating me with a stick. <coughs> I, from what I looked at it. It probably need to be all three games in one go, right? And I couldn't just do one, one of them. It'd have to be Hitman 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so maybe if I did that, it would work. Otherwise, each one individually probably wouldn't make for a very good video. Thing is, it's hard to do that the way Hitman is put together. Since it's just like, here's a big level. Here's a bunch of people to kill. Do it however you want. There's nothing that's really like set in a way that it's like, this is how the developers meant for you to do it. Uh, so it would really just be me sitting the cutscenes here and there when you get them. <coughs> It's one of the reasons I sent Hitman Ab Absolution, because it was the easiest one to send in my format. But it also has a really dumb story. Oh. Some of the mission stories could probably be the cannon route. Oh, that's what they'd have to be, yeah. But it's... When I saw it, a lot of it is just like, here's a mission briefing and some information, go get to work. There's actually an, an old arcade building like this in the college town I live right next to, but I think they got rid of all the shops in it, which is sad. 
I never got to visit while it was open. I think it's all like just apartments now is what they converted into. So I, I, I wish they wouldn't have done that. Yeah, it even has like the see-through like atrium ceiling too in it. You made it? I made it. Amazon kill well. An arcade like this is not really a mall. I guess it's a precursor to it. But they're really neat because they're just like, here's like a straight building with a bunch of tiny shops in a straight line. And you have like the nice glass ceiling. So this is actually, well, this is more ornate, but there is one like it, but no more shops in it. Outside of like a tuxedo shop, I think. Uh, I'm alone. At least they converted it. A lot of those arcades end up getting demolished. I guess that is the, the one bright side of it. But still, I would have liked to have like gone into experience like, hey, here's a bunch of little boutique shops all in one building. I'm sorry, but what the hell are you? a nasty disease or whatever it is I'm... hi there what's up how you doing <clears throat> bad parking killed malls most malls i've ever been to just have like here's a massive like couple miles of like square footage for parking the thing that just sucks about malls is you can't just walk to a mall you have to like get in a car and get on the freeway usually because that's usually right where they're at like, you know, you know, just like easy access to it. It's like, uh, you, you, malls are for car people. Arcade like this would be for like, you know, someone just walking around. are also a mistake. I think we do have too much infrastructure made for them. I agree. Yeah, let me see. That's locked. need to switch back to fire this corrosion might not be that good against like the zombie people said throwable, but that was definitely not throwable. Ah, oh, these suck. We're not stopping anytime soon. What, on the car thing? Most certainly not. Doesn't seem like it. Need Lorenz in the arcade first floor key. 
You gotta head off for cooked dinner. You have a good dinner then, Lucky. What are you making tonight? Actually, I just realized I'm sitting on 16,000 souls. Why haven't I ergo? Why didn't I go back and spend any of this yet? I'm being dumb. <laughs> Stupidity is what truly makes you brave, chat. <coughs> chicken? I had steamed chicken today, actually. disease locks people inside a cage inside their own bodies we're all safe thanks to her sacrifice but i wish for a miracle to save everyone me as well i'll use my power to help you see ya dardigan i'm gonna air fry in some spicy stuff hmm yeah i i i steamed mine rather but air i've air fried it a couple times too i usually use cayenne pepper on mine we're gonna like pump stamina a bit. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the Milan is a pretty famous arcade. You should add it to the bucket list no if you get the chance. Will do. No focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I forget, is that something I've supposed to have been doing for him? Is like recording that shit? Because I. And complete clueless on how to do that if so. I think it does it automatically. I know my way around a weapon. Well, we can upgrade this. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, nice kill. Uh, feature is that in the top right, the souls are blue. You have enough. Yeah, this game does seem like it decided, you know what? We will. That's the one area they managed to improve upon. Oh, hold on. It was gone. <coughs> Something I want to tell you, Geppetto's puppet. Please come to the hotel garden on the way to Elysium Boulevard. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> But a lot of quality of life improvements I like. Eh? Oh, it's you. Come closer, won't you? When you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fierce back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion this is my first time in this room? No, I've talked to her before. But I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? <laughs> it seems Geppetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. Maybe a comfort to you someday. Ergo is whispering. What does that even mean? People 
people have no idea so many thanks for keeping me. Chad, my ergo is whispering. Your wheelchair is cooler. This does seem pretty basic, but very brass and with hard wood. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Hmm, Bert, why we could get that guy's scythe. <coughs> the puppet ripper. Hey, Bolt Dad, 32 months, man. Thank you. How you doing? All right, I think I need to go talk to that one guy. I think he's out front, right? There he is. Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve. <coughs> I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... I style, thank you. ...adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have. Yeah, like guilt. I'm a puppet who likes no gills, what of it? Of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? Yes. It exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. Well, he really isn't a guilt. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. Demonize iron protection. Your ego is wishful. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. The very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Alright. So we can go talk to our dad, Jepetto, now. You would wreck that old stuff. How would you know? Maybe she a freak. Almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all De Gray artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. Oh, so instead of our own nose growing, the paintings... Okay. I cannot use this, right? I need to lie more, chat. I need bigger nose. <laughs> right. 
Uh, all right, so we can now this off. Increase the amount of ergo from eliminate an enemy? Uh, sure. Seems pretty good. <coughs> Does your character's nose actually grow if you tell it? No, but on the painting over here of us, that, that gets bigger. They probably felt to be too goofy if you're walking around the big ass nose. So they just did that. I'm glad they found a way to incorporate it though. Would have been weird without it. <coughs> oh. Let's see. Uh, can I make any more Legion arms? What about modified? Nope. These things are hard to come by. <coughs> golden tree. I guess I can harvest my golden tree. <coughs> I don't really need to use spin it either, though. That being said, chat, considering how my cough has been getting a little rough tonight, I think I might call it here, let my voice rest. Because <laughs> if you notice, I've been sniffling and coughing a lot all the way through the last hour of the stream. Probably my body telling me to knock it off for a bit and get some drinks in me and stop using it. <coughs> However, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. For all you wonderful people, please stop by and say hi. I'd love to have you. If you're new here, please hit the follow button. You can also join my Discord, too. But thank you for any bit subs or gift subs. Uh, also, welcome back to all the you know, long-time viewers like Berserko and, you know, a friend Logical. It's been good seeing old faces around. <coughs> Hopefully you still have time for me in your labs. But uh, I will I will now try to feel better and uh, be energized for tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what happens in the game. Alright, chat. Have a good night. I'll see you later. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>